Hello, our wonderful children with special needs. Our dear parents and viewers at home, we welcome you, the revision class of the classroom in your home for children with special needs. This program is powered by the Lagos State Government through the Lagos State Universal Basic Education Board. This is to ensure that you are not left behind. I am Uncle Ife, a deputy functioning teacher. I am not here alone. I am here today with the two wonderful specialists. Hello, wonderful puppies. I'm Uncle Oye, your functional academic teacher for learners with intellectual and developmental disabilities. Auntie Grace is in the house, your functional academic teacher for learners with hearing impairment. Together, we, we are bringing, bringing the classroom, classroom into your home. home. Stay tuned. Hello, my wonderful children with special needs. Once again, I am Onkwife, your adaptive functioning teacher. As we all know, that adaptive functioning class is activity class. Today, we shall be looking at our previous lessons. I repeat, our previous lessons. Are we ready? Yes, I can see that you are ready. Now let's look at our learning objectives. By the end of the lesson, you should be able to recall the things you have been taught. I repeat, recall the things you have been taught. Now let's begin. Question one, all eyes on the screen. Can you all remember this picture? Can you remember that? In one of our lessons, we talked about good and standing, post poor standing posture. Now let's look at the instruction. Indicate whether this is a good or poor standing posture. I want us to look at the standing posture. Is it a good or poor standing posture? You can see the buttocks out and the stomach out. Can you see that? You can see the shoulder as well. So now is it good standing posture or poor standing posture? Now you can now pick your answer. Have you picked your answer? Okay, now let's see the correct answer to this. Is it good standing posture or poor standing posture? Wow, it's poor standing posture. Two, we should walk down the stairs with our two legs at a time while holding the rail until we get down the stairs. We learned this in one of our lessons also. That is walking up and down the stairs. So is it good to walk on the stairs with our two legs at a time this way? And at the same time you hold the rail. until we get down the stairs. So we have true or false. So now you can pick your answer. Have you picked your answer? Now let's see the correct answer to this question. It is false. It's not good to move on the stairs with two legs at a time. You move on the stairs with one leg at a time. And you should always hold the rail. You move with one leg at a time on stairs. 
Next question. Dash, dash, and dash are ways of taking care of our environment. I repeat, dash, dash, and dash are ways of taking care of our environment. What are the ways that we can take care of our environment? Or ways of taking care of our environment. We've learned about this also in one of our lessons. Now let me read out the options. Sweeping the compound every time. Is it by sweeping the compound every time? Always empty the trash can and open windows and doors to allow ventilation. That is to allow fresh air. I repeat, sweeping the compound every time. Always emptying the trash can and open, open windows and doors to allow ventilation. The second option, close windows and doors. Pour water on the floor and drop paper on the floor. I repeat, close windows and doors. Pour water on the floor and drop paper on the floor. So which one is the correct answer? Have you picked your answer? Wow. The correct answer is sweeping the compound every time. Always empty the trash can and open windows and doors to allow ventilation. Next question. Identify the object on the screen. Is it nail file or nail clippers? We use this to trim our nails, our finger nails and toe nails. Is it nail file or nail clippers? Have you picked your answer? Now let's see the correct answer to this. Yes, it's nail clippers. Nail clippers. If you got that correctly, you deserve a cheer. Dash, dash and dash are ways of taking care of our ears. Yes. Dash, dash and dash are ways of taking care of our ears. In one of our lessons, we learned about ways of taking care of our ears. Then let me read out the options. Stay away from noise. Don't use sharp objects in your ears. Always go for checkup. And make use of cutting board when cleaning your outer ears. The second option. Make use of matching sticks when cleaning your ears. Stay close to the noise. Use sharp objects like broom, stick, nail in your ears and pour sand in your ears. Have you picked your answer? Okay, let's see the correct answer to this. Wow. Stay away from noise. Don't use sharp objects like nail, stick, matches sticks, broom in your ears. It's wrong. Always go for checkup and make use of cutting board when cleaning the outer part. The outer part of your ears, not the middle or the inner part. It's wrong to use cutting board to clean the middle or the inner part of your ears. Next question. You should keep your fingers close to yourself when using scissors. 
you should keep your fingers close to yourself when using scissors. Is it true or false? Have you picked your answer? Now let's see the correct answer to this. False. You don't have to keep your fingers close to yourself. You keep away your fingers. Keep away your fingers from yourself when using scissors. Dash, dash and dash can be used to take care of our ear. Dash, dash and dash can be used to take care of our ear. Now the options. Water, soap or shampoo. Comb and airbrush. I repeat, water, soap or shampoo. Comb and air brush. The second option, broken bottle, chalk and sand. Broken bottle, chalk and sand. Have you picked your answer? Now let's see the correct answer to this. Yes, water, soap or shampoo, comb and airbrush can be used to take care of our ear. To take care of our ear, you use water, soap or shampoo to wash the ear. Then you now use comb or airbrush to comb or to brush your ear. Next question. Indicate whether this is a good or poor standing posture. Keep your knees very slightly bent. Is it poor standing posture or good standing posture? Have you picked your answer? Now let's see the correct answer to this. Yes, it's good standing posture. You keep your knees very slightly bent and your buttocks should be in. Your buttocks should be in. Next question. Use dash, dash and dash to hold the tip of the pencil. Use dash, dash and dash to hold the tip of the pencil. Is it small finger? Ring, small finger. Ring, finger. And thumb, finger. The next option, thumb, finger, index, finger, and middle, finger. Have you picked your answer? Now let's see the correct answer to this. Yes, use your thumb, finger, index, finger. And the middle finger to hold the tip this way, to hold the tip of the pencil. You now use the other hand to flip, to flip the pencil until it reaches the pillow. This way, it is how to hold a pencil. Next question. Indicate whether this is a good or poor standing posture. Hunch shoulders. Hunch shoulders. Is it good standing posture or poor standing posture? Have you picked your answer? Let's see the correct answer to this. Yes, hunch shoulder is poor standing posture. Hunch shoulders is poor standing posture. Next question. Posture is the position of your body when you are standing or sitting. I repeat, posture is the position of your body when you are standing or sitting. Is it true or false? Have you picked your answer? Now let's see the correct answer to this. 
Yes. Posture is the position of your body when you are standing or sitting. Next question. Identify the line. Is it vertical? This is the line. Is it vertical line or horizontal line? Vertical line or horizontal line? Have you picked your answer? Now let's see the correct answer to this. Wow. It is vertical line. Vertical line. Next question. Indicate whether this is a good or poor sitting posture. Indicate whether this is a good or poor sitting posture. Keeping your grip on the seat, then lower your body into the seat of the chair. Keeping your grip on the seat, then lower your body into the seat of the chair. Is it poor sitting posture? Or good sitting posture. Have you picked your answer? Now let's see the correct answer to this. Yes, it's good sitting posture. Good sitting posture. Good sitting posture. Next question. Identify the object. Yes, is it paper or sack? Hope you can say remember this. Is it paper or sack? Have you picked your answer? Let's see the correct answer. Yes, this is a sack. We use this for sack racing. For sack racing. Identify the line. The line. Is it vertical line or horizontal line have you picked your answer okay let's see the correct answer yes it's horizontal line horizontal line wow did you get everything correctly if it is so you deserve to be celebrated <laughs> now wonderful children with special needs wow we have come to the end of our revision class and I hope you really enjoyed the class. Of course, I did too. Uncle Ife says, keep on revising and make sure you are keeping safe. Bye. Hello, hello, my wonderful special puppies. How are you? I'm excited to be here. What of you? Today, in our class, we want to revise some of the lessons being taught. Our learning objective. Learning objectives. By the end of the lesson, you should be able to recall the things you have been taught. You should be able to remember all what you have been taught. Let's start. English studies. We want to check our English studies. Question one. Identify the verb. The verb in the following. I want you to pick the verb in this sentence. Number one. Bolu. Bolu plays football. Again. Bolu plays football. Pick, pick out the verb in the sentence. We have plays and football. What is your answer?
my answer is place 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 it is an action word it tells us what bolu is doing in the sentence number two identify now we want to identify the adverb in the following number one the pregnant woman walked slowly the pregnant woman walked slowly what is the adverb here is it walked or or slowly it is slowly it tell us more about the woman about the verb she walked she walked slowly 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 another question identify the now in the following the dog likes barking the dog likes <coughs> barking we have learned that a noun is the name of a person animal place or thing now from this pick dog or likes which one is a noun here yeah. dog 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 is a name of an animal another question identify the future tense we have learned about different types of tenses we have present tense past tense and future tense now we want to identify the future tense here the question is are we dance on my birthday are we dance on my birthday we have dance and will dance dance and will dance what is the answer what is the answer okay the answer is well dance will dance are uh, we dance on my on my birthday it is a future tense it is not happening now it will happen in the future colors what color is this what color is this we have learned about different colors we have blue gray yellow red pink and so on now look at the screen what color is this is it color blue or green pick your answer the color on the screen is blue 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 color blue 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 well done we have done with the english now general studies general studies
we have learned we have learned about farm tools look at the screen we have a tool now what is the name of this farm tool what is the name of this farm tool the what is the name it is called o o o we use it on the farm on the farm another question dash is used to mix sand dash is used to mix sand is it shovel or cutlass pick your answer The answer is shovel. It is used to mix sand. We use cutlass to cut grasses. Cutlass is used to cut grasses. Pollution. Pollution is when air and water becomes dirty. Pollution is when air and water becomes dirty. We have learnt about pollution, pollution here. We have water and air pollution. The answer here is what? True, true. When air and water becomes dirty, it is not good again. We call it pollution. We learned about saving, saving and housing now personal saving and loans are examples of how to save for housing personal saving and loans are example of how to save for housing we learned that to build a house it is very costly we can is it true that we can save or get loan to build house yes to build your house you can start saving or go to bank to get loan drug drug dash is use of drugs without the prescription of a doctor when you take drug without the knowledge of a doctor it is called what when you take drug without the knowledge of a doctor it is called what drug abuse food hygiene drug abuse is 
is when you take drug without doctor prescription. Now to mathematics. I know you are very good at math. Now, number one. Share six apples between two girls. One girl will get dash apple. I give you 10 seconds to do that. The answer is the answer is three. If you share six apples between two guests, the answer will be three. Six divided by two is equal to three. Six divided by three is what? Sorry, six divided by two is what? Three. Now, use the correct symbol to complete the following. We have less than, greater than, equals two. So, 12 and 15 is it less than or greater than what is your answer the answer is less than 12 is less than 15 12 is less than 15. Use the correct symbol to complete the following. Less than, greater than, equals to the answer is equal to 10 is equal equal to 10 10 and 10 is the same value so the answer is equal to now addition of numbers i have taught you addition of number. Now, add 24 and 12 together. Add 24 and 12 together. What is your answer? What is your answer for 24, 24 and 12? The answer is 36, 36. Now to fraction. What fraction is colored yellow? If you look at the screen, if you look at the screen, we have a square divided into two. This is a square. It is divided into two equal parts. So what is the fraction of the colored yellow? The answer is one over two. One out of two is colored. One out of two is colored yellow. 
So the answer is 1 out of 2. That's it for today. I hope you enjoy the revision class. Until I come your way next week, always read your book. A reader is a leader. Bye. Hello, my wonderful puppies. You are welcome to today's lesson. I'm Uncle Oye, your functional academic teacher for learners with intellectual and developmental disabilities. Today, our lesson will be taking a different shape. How? We will be revising our previous lessons. That is, all the lessons that we have taught you. Let's quickly look at our learning objective. By the end of the lesson, you should be able to recall the things you have been taught. You should be able to recall the things you have been taught. Are you ready? You are ready? That is good. Let's begin. Let's first take English studies. Let's take the first question. Fill in the gap with correct sound to make a meaningful word. You remember our phonics class? Yes. We have P, dash, and T. P, dash, and T. Then we have two sounds here. A, S, B, O. S, O. Which sound we fit into the, to give us a meaningful word? Yes. Have you picked your answer? Let's see the correct answer. Oh. 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 To give us P. Oh. T. And the meaningful word will be what? Pot. 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 Let's move. What is this? Can you see a picture on the screen? What is this picture? What is this object? Let's see the answer. This is a ruler. A ruler. Ruler. Good job, you. Now, let's go to the next question. Yes. This is about colors. You remember this lesson? We treated colors, different types of colors, blue, green, red, the primary colors, the secondary colors, and other colors, brown, and so. What color is this? You can see it on the screen. What color is this? Have you picked your answer? Let's check. Blue. This is color blue. Color blue. Good job, you. Match the objects that go together. Match the objects that go together. We have shoes, car, fire, and socks. Our options, shoes and socks, car and fire. Which is your answer? Let's check. Shoe and socks go together. Shoe and socks go together. This is pairing of different objects that go together. Pairing of different objects that go together. Now that is on English. We are moving to mathematics now. Mathematics. Are you ready? You are ready? Let's go. 
arrange these numbers in descending order. You remember this topic? Ascending and descending order. Ascending and descending order. What is ascending order? From smallest to the biggest. And what is descending order? From biggest to the smallest. Now you have to arrange these numbers in descending order. 4, 1, 5, 2, 3. You have two options on the screen. Pick your answer. Is it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5? Or 5, 4, 3, 2, 1? Which one is descending? Which one is arranged in descending order? Pick your answer. You have done that. Let's check. Wow. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 is arranged. These numbers are arranged in descending order. That is from biggest to the smallest. Biggest to the smallest. Did you get it? Good job, you. Put the correct sign in the bracket. Oh, you remember this topic? Our, my right hand is greater than, my left hand is less than, my right hand is greater than, my left hand is less than. You remember now? You are laughing. That is good. Very interesting topic. That is good. Now you have to pick the correct sign here now. Either greater than or less than. We have the number 8 and 5. 8 and 5. What are you going to put in the bracket? What is the correct sign there? Is 8 greater than 5 or 8 less than 5? Yes, I'm waiting for you to pick your answer. You have done that. Good. Let's check the correct answer. Yes. The sign should be greater than, greater than, greater than, because 8 is greater than 5. 8 is greater than 5. Did you get it? You got it. Good job, you. Well done. Clap yourself. Yes. Write 4 in Roman numerals. Write 4 in Roman numerals. You remember this topic also? Yes. I told you that we have Arabic numerals and Roman numerals. Now, how do we write 4 in Roman numerals? You can see it on the screen. Which one? You have two options there. Pick the correct answer. Yes, I'm waiting for you. You have done that. Good. Let's see the correct answer. This is the correct answer. A is the correct answer. This is how to write for in Roman numerals. Roman numerals. Good. Underline the number written in word. A number is written in word. Underline the number. You have seen the number. Look at the screen. This number is written in word. Now you have to pick the correct number that goes with the one written in word. Yes. I'm waiting for you. Thinking about it. Done. You are done? Good. Let's see the correct answer. Yes. This is five. Five. To write five in number. This is five in word. And this is five in number. So this is the correct answer. Good job you, if you got it. Yes. We are going to the final part of our subject for today general studies. So we're going to do the revision of our, the topics, the previous lessons we have learned on general studies as well. Are you ready? Are you ready? 
You are ready. Okay, let's go. Question number one on our, in our general studies. Mention two personal belongings. Mention two personal belongings. I told you something about personal belongings. I said they are simple items that can be carried about. They are what? Simple items that can be carried about. Now you ha we have two options here. Two personal belongings is it house and refrigerator or book and pencil? House and refrigerator, that is option one. B, book and pencil. Which one is your answer? Let's see the correct answer. The correct answer here is book and pencil. Book and pencil. They are your personal belongings. House and refrigerators are not personal belongings. You can see that they cannot be carried about. But your book and your pencil can be carried about. Good job, you. Food is an element of culture. Food is an element of culture, true or false. You remember that topic also. I define culture to you as a way of life of a group of people. A way of life of a group of people. And I gave you some examples that day. Yoruba, they are a group of people. Igbo, a group of people. Aousa are a group of people. And what are the elements of culture? Food, dress, and so on and so forth. Now, is food an element of culture? From what I've said, you should have gotten your answer. Let's see the correct answer. True. It's true. Food is an element of culture. The type of food that we eat, that the particular group of people eat, is an element of their culture. Dash and dash are examples of fruits. Dash and dash are examples of fruits. A. Mango and orange, mango and orange, B, meat pie and popcorn, meat pie and popcorn, which is your answer? I'm waiting for you to pick your answer. Have you picked your answer? Okay, let's see the correct answer. Mango and orange. Mango and orange are examples of fruits. Mango and orange are examples of fruits. Meat pie is not a fruit. Did you get that? And popcorn is not a fruit. So the correct answer is mango and orange. Dash and dash are domestic animals. Dash and dash are domestic animals. A. Cat and goat. B. Lion and tiger. A. Cat and goat. B. Lion and tiger. Pick your answer. Are you true? Wow. The correct answer is cat and goat. Lion and tiger are not domestic animals. They are regarded as wild animals. They are regarded as what? Wild animals. Wow, we have come to the end of today's revision. I hope it is refreshing. You recalled all the previous lessons that we have taught. And I believe you really enjoyed it. I did too. Until I come your way next week, 
take good care of yourself. Uncle Oye says, bye. Thank you for being part of today's revisions episode. We believe you really enjoyed and gained from the program. Until we come your way next week, remember, you are very special and Lagos State loves you dearly. That is why Lasso Bird is leaving no child behind. There is ability in disability. You are special, you are special. Yes, we know, yes, we know. We know that you're special, we know that you're special, yes we know, yes we know.